So, we've been invited for a local treat. You've cooked up some lizard, right? Yeah, monitor lizard. Monitor lizard. Let's try it out. This is a local preparation. Yes, yes it is. How'd they make it? Okay, so we first boil the monitor lizard. They steam it with spices. After, they have a blend of pepper, tomatoes, and onions blended together. And then they pour it into the already steamed the monitor lizard. And then they keep it on fire for like 30 minutes. So any kind of meat someone's pulling from this market, they might cook it this way? Yes. Is it like rice and stew? Yeah, it's, it's like you preparing stew sauce for rice. But here we're going to eat it with our traditional meal, which is called eba. Oh, this is eba. Yeah, this is eba. OK, let's play hot potato. Oh, these are so hot. There you go. Here's what I've learned so far in Nigeria. Uh, a hot plastic bag, these are our carbohydrates, yes? Yes. OK. Let me just show okay. It's a sign of respect to first entertain the visitor. Thank Thank you, appreciate yeah. it. And she's also our visitor, so she goes next. Hi. Hey. All right, this is our carbohydrate. What is this made from? Cassava. Oh, nice. I'm gonna try just a little bit of that. Oh, it's no, so hot. Uh, well, have you done my That's yes. right now. It doesn't have any flavor almost. It's a little sour, but I think I need to be mixing that with that, yeah. right? Apparently, you can know where a person is from in my country from how messy their hand is from uh -huh. Hungary. Is that right? I'm supposed to be the cleanest because I'm from the South South. Okay, okay. A little bit of regionalism going on here. Let's see how clean your hands are. I don't know, you got that up to your wrist, basically. <laughs> I bet you in the end, I'll have the cleanest hands because I'm from the South South. I doubt that. <laughs> see mine. Where are you from? Are you I'm Yoruba. Don't worry. We the Let's wait till the end. Okay, let's wait till the end. Hey, listen, you don't have to be agreeable with her just because she's my co-host. <laughs> no. You don't need to kiss her ass at all. I'm going to give it a dip. Imagine my dip. Cheers. Mmm. It's a nice, it's like just a spicy tomato puree. You can't even tell there's a whole chunk of a lizard in there. Where do you think they caught this lizard? From the other side of the lake. You think they set up traps over there? Yeah, they do. Are all these animals just trapped? Yeah, traps and some of them, they get shot. Okay, so some people are real hunters. Yeah. Probably mostly it's trappers. Definitely have to be a hunter to be able to know how to set the trap and know when to check up if the trap has gotten any game. If you leave something in the trap too long, then something else gets your meal. So of all the animals in that market, are there any you've never had? Or any that you would refuse? Maybe a monkey. You wouldn't do the monkey? I wouldn't do the monkey. And why not? Maybe I see the monkey as a little bit of human. But some people do. Not much people do it. Because they're not catching many monkeys? I, I don't think it has to do with the number of monkeys they catch. I think it has to do with the fact that they just don't want to eat the monkey. Mm. This meat's still pretty hot. I'm not, I didn't dig into that yet. I'm gonna get a little more tomato. The sauce, like the base, it was really good. It's really just like fresh, spicy, and just tomatoey. Descriptions. Have there been any differences in the amount of meat or what comes in since you were a kid until now? So I thought it I I thought I just looked online and there's some animals at the market that are actually uh, endangered or the numbers are getting low. Since the whole economy here is based on hunting and trapping, it's not farming, do you guys ever worry that the animals might run out? We said it's not possible that. So every meat has its season. So if a particular species of meat doesn't come this season, it doesn't mean you're not going to see any of those animals. It's just that the numbers of the animals of that species would reduce. But there would be other animals to replace it. So it's just about cycles and yeah, seasons. Yeah, it's just about cycles and seasons. And they have a vast land of forest that hasn't been tapped. So they have the belief that definitely if they go inner and inner and inner, mm -hmm. they're yeah. going to have more animals. More and more and more. Yeah. I want to try this meat, but it's like blazing hot right now. What piece is this? What do I even get? Are these ribs? I think that's a rib. Can I just bite off of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you could, you could. Oh, there you go, there you go. Jesus Christ. Like an animal over here. Yeah, get in there. It tastes furry. It tastes furry? It tastes very, I was still thinking. Oh, very. <laughs> It's thick and kind of gelatinous, gooey. It's so spicy, man. And that, that spice just hangs out in the back of my throat. Yeah, in this part of Nigeria. Yeah. We like it spicy. But I love the flavor and it's addictive. Like, you gotta satisfy that spice by adding more spice. Yeah. Some of these animals, deep in the forest, they might have diseases. I know it's probably not the most fun topic while we're eating one of them. Is that something people worry about here? Or they feel like they've been fine, they've been healthy, no problem? To us, we believe that regardless of if the animals, if the bushmeat, the game has an illness or not, the number of hours we used to boil it and then spice it. So we believe that some of those spices cure the sickness. Have you guys ever gotten sick from some meat? Nah, I've not. Oh, uh, one time? No. No? no. Wow, really? <laughs> Nobody eats rare meat here, right? Nah. Even beef? 
No. Do you eat rare beef? No, we don't. Throughout Africa, that's a common thing. Yeah, we have I'm to not, cook it. I don't know where that comes from, but like, I think the idea is like kill any possible bacteria, cook yeah. it super well, and no rare steaks even. Well, except for it, when I went to Kenya, I did have a raw blood and raw kidney from a goat. In Kenya, they cut the goat open, pull out the kidney, Eat it. Raw one. Raw, like sushi. It was pretty intense. How does the blood wow. taste? The blood, it tastes like milky and thick. I, I've heard of it, but I never thought I was gonna say somebody who probably would have said. This is what I love about traveling the world, is like, you're talking to me about, yeah, there's people down here who eat monkeys once in a while. And I'm like, yeah, across Africa, they're eating the raw kidney from a goat, and you're like, dude, have some limits, my man. <laughs>